A startling scene in New Mexico to tell you about this morning. Two men rush to the hospital. Just take a look at that picture. After their hot air balloon crashes into power lines, it really seems to explode into a fireball and then plummets 40 feet to the ground. Early start anchors, Ryder Samplin is here with more on this. That that picture tells you. It looks you, terrible, yeah. doesn't it? It is. The accident happening during the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta Wednesday. Event organizers say 59-year-old Mark Kilgore and 66-year-old Daniel Lovato are being treated for burns. A ball of flames lights the sky outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Wednesday as a hot air balloon catches fire mid-flight at the International Balloon Fiesta Festival. Two men are trapped inside. The balloon ignited after hitting a power line. At that point, there was an explosion, shot flames out, you know, about 20 feet to the side. I saw him slump. I didn't know about the condition. At that point, the gondola really started to drop. Both victims must be dragged out of the burning balloon. They are now in the hospital suffering severe burns. Frightening ballooning accidents like this one are extremely rare. The National Transportation Safety Board has investigated only 760 accidents in the United States since 1964, and 67 of those have been fatal. <laughs> In January, an entire wedding party survived crash landing behind a house in San Diego. The bride and groom made it to their reception after the accident. But sometimes, incidents are deadly. Just this February, 19 tourists in Egypt were killed when a hot air balloon burst into flames and plummeted to the ground. And last year, 11 people were killed in New Zealand when a balloon exploded after striking a power line. Well, accidents have been pretty common at this event in Albuquerque. A local station says a balloon hit a power pole Saturday, and then on Sunday, another one hit some power lines. Both managed to land safely, we are happy to report. But when it's bad news, it's really bad news.